What's up, guys? Just stop back over at Finish Line. Check out this lineup. The XMR, the XP1000, 950 Sport, 900S, another 900S, and another 950 Sport. And they got another 950 inside. And I think they got a couple 500s around here somewhere. But look at this 900S. I like that. I'm not a Razor guy, but. I like that orange. The seats, even the bags match. Ooh. Orange coil over. Got the extinguisher. It's set up nice. Clear plastic doors. Synthetic winch. It's nice. I don't know. Trade the 800. Become an RZR guy. I like that. I like that, and I can't afford a new one, right? So, but yeah, we just went in to Donnie. He hooked us up. We got some goodies. You have to wait and see what it is. Pretty pumped. We're gonna get home, get it put on. So, oh look, that one comes with brand new tie. Right, 32s. I need some 32s. XP 1000. That could be nice. White Lightning. I like the white. Got the rock bar. Trail command. Is that what that is? Trail command screen? Or ride command, I mean. Look, it's got the matching trim bags too. It's pretty sweet. They these are these those two 900 S's are priced pretty good. Of course I like that. But out of my budget. But yeah, I really like this. What do we got tire wise? The 27 Dirt Commanders. Those are supposed to be pretty good. Pretty wore out though. But you can got the orange in there. Orange Fox. I like that. What, I look good standing by it, don't I? I don't know. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Trade the old 800 for the 900. Then we could do some cool Polaris versus CF Moto stuff. We got a 950 CF Moto. Right there it is. Those two battling it out. Not that one, but mine. Light bar, windshield, halos. I like it. Oh, it's even got the radio and stuff. You have to take that out because of copyright issues. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, boys. I might be trading, trading sides. I don't know. Let's go home. Let's get this home. See what's in that box. All right. Let's see what it is. What do you think it is, Will? Uh. It's something you've been wanting. <laughs> Don't get too excited. It's not like a pony or anything. But... Just kidding. It's a pony. <laughs> Endless supply of bubble wrap. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's gonna be nice, ain't it? Hmm. These are from CF Moto. I was gonna order a set. I was actually gonna order a set today from Super ATV. I put the Super ATV door inserts on the 800. They're metal. They fit perfect. I love them. But uh, I called. I was talking to Robbie, and uh, they said they had a set. I called down, talked to Donnie, and uh, he's like, "Yeah, we got them. Come get them." So 
Huge thank you to Finish Line Motors, Morgantown, West Virginia. Hit them up once again. Better, a little better price than Super ATV and didn't have to wait for shipping. It's a huge, it's supposed to be a huge snowstorm coming in. So we wanted to get these and get them on. And this worked out awesome because half hour, go get them. Now we can put them on and be ready to rip when the snow flies. Huh. Hmm. Uh, I was gonna take a peek at that XL. They had four, four or five XLs over there. I seen them on the website. I was, I don't know, whenever I put that post on a couple weeks ago, and I was gonna look, and uh, they already sold them. All. So they don't know. They're waiting on the shipment to get some new ones in. They don't know what exactly is on it. If it's XLs or 800s or 900s, the, the new body style. Maybe, they have no idea. So I don't think it's a new body style, but. Yeah, so we're waiting. These are not like the Super ATV ones. The difference, these are from CF Moto. They're plastic with a tube frame. They're not super heavy, but they're kind of heavy. Like, heavy enough where you, you feel like it's good. I think it'd be good. Everything looks pretty good. Clip wise. This. I don't know how it goes on, but you don't need to know. Actually, I think that. Yeah. No. All right, Bob. How's it go? I don't know. Well, obviously, I'm gonna say that's the bottom, and this bolts to the door. Let's open her up. Uh, let's see. Bolt. Bolt. Yes, it is gonna go. Nope, they don't line up. I don't know. Let me try this one again. Cause now I'm thinking this might be the bit. Definitely is the bit. Ta da! It's kind of heavy. I'm going to go ahead and make sure these hinge bolts, hinge bolts are all tight and stuff. Because, you know, CF Moto likes to come loose. Yeah, that's lining up. Nice. All right. So this is actually pretty simple. You got to pop, you pop this, uh, this inside door panel off. Just a couple Phillips screws. Pop that off. I think it's like 100 of them in there. Take it off. It's got three bolts. These two go down, this one goes up, the nuts are welded to the door. So you just got bolts, boom, done. Oh, you gotta cut out, it's marked. You'll see, I'll show you on the other one before we cut it, but there's marks. You gotta cut out on this piece and this piece. And that's pretty much it. Get them on. Kinda tricky to get the bolts to line up right, but not bad. A little corner insert in. I painted them orange. It's a little bit lighter orange than what this is, but you know, I thought it'd be cool. Class it up, I bet. For those, I think you gotta you gotta drill these out. Now they're already drilled in this, but you gotta drill them out in this plastic piece, and then it's got the push pins. We're waiting for the paint to dry, we'll go ahead and get the door on the other side. But this is nice. I mean, seals up pretty nice. CNC machined plastic. Fits nice. I think it's it's not gonna like rattle or anything. It's in there pretty sturdy. Uh, definitely gonna be way better then the whole gap and then there's a little bit of a gap in here like i can stick my hand in but again i mean it's it's just a weird shape but i think it fits pretty nicely it's definitely going to cut a lot of the wind out especially when i get this in you know me i can fix that with some duct tape all of a sudden rip this other side apart i'll show you them tabs and everything over there before i cut it just wanted to note the time it's 20 after 8 and i just asked bug bug to bring me two tomato sandwiches with mayo and extra pepper so 20 after 8 we'll see what time if i get my sammies what time they'll be okay so i forgot to show you the tabs before i cut them out yeah like i said i'm not a how-to channel i'm just uh you know i forget I, i'd like to just get it done and then show you what it looks like it's grooved 
out. Well, you can see like this, how it's grooved, but these are just like right there and right there. Yeah, you can kind of see the, how they went in. Something like that. It's got a dip in there. Just cut them out and then the same way on the orange piece on the door on the other side. Oh crap. Scuffed it up. But then hopefully these will be dry and we can put them on. And then we should be pretty good. We can move on to the next thing I wanted to do. Yeah. Just to show you before I get too far ahead of myself. So after you pop that piece off, you cut them out. Then you'll see down here, well, you can kind of see there where I had to cut. And then it's just three bolts. The nuts are already welded onto the door, so you just put the bolt in. And then this one up here, the nut is welded back there, right there. It goes up through. Yeah. All right, we got this side on, put the door panel back on. Fit is pretty good. I mean, it's a little gap, but like I said, that's nothing. That's what we'd expect. So now we gotta just do these. I'm probably gonna have to clean this up some. But yeah, it's coming along, man. That was pretty simple. Uh, it looks pretty good. Give me a couple. Bam. Yeah. I like it. Hungry and cold. Bug Bug's a good kid. She'll get me some Sammy's quick. Yeah, I think it's going to be pretty sweet. I really need to redo my garage. I know it's a dump in here. So everything gets piled in here. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up a little bit so I can get them in there when they're dry. And then probably just... Show y'all when it's all done. Um, one more thing I wanted to do while I had it in the garage here. Uh, get rid of this useless junk. I think I'm just going to pull these bottom bolts out for now. And then just like... That should let this arm flip up. And then I'll just like kind of zip tie it out of the way for now. Just to see how it rides down the road. I mean if it's a complete road wagon or something I might have to put them back on i'm gonna take the front off too same thing just pop this nut off both sides flip this up out of the way for now and or vice versa probably take the bottom one off flip the whole thing up out of the way and then if i like it i'll go ahead and just take it all off but it's not it's not really the long travel suspension you're not getting any use out of this trailing arm setup um this thing has about as much flex as the 800 like it sucks so but delete that delete that i bet you it'll be totally different game changer game changer we should be good to go man so yeah finish putting the doors together i don't know i'm gonna go inside get warm get me a sandwich come back get to work you guys wait here